Really, one of the best things anyone can do for their lawn is lawn aeration. This is a physical action of removing a soil plug, putting it on top of that grass surface, and having an open channel now into our soil profile. What this will do for us is that, one, it reduces the soil compaction, which means that we have more space available for air and water movement in and out of our soil profile. Fall and spring are the best times to do this practice. If you don't have an aerator yourself, you can hire a service to do it for you or go and most equipment rental places have the machine that you can just rent from them. If you're going to get one from them, you need to have a pickup truck and you'll want to have some ramps to get it in and out of that vehicle. All right. Looks like we're all looks set. Like we are. Uh, my lawn really looks like it needs some help. One of the best things we can do for the lawn is a lawn aeration. So the recommendation is that we do this once a year on the lawn, and as part of our rehabilitation for your lawn, this is going to be the first step we're going to do. The best thing to do when you're doing this practice is take it slow, make sure you're getting good coverage on it. You'll probably be taking out a two to three inch plug. Make sure the soil is moist enough to pull a good plug, but not too soggy. Heavy equipment can damage the grass. Overlap your patterns. More is better if you get more plugs in there, so overlap it by 25 or 50 percent. And if you want to, go over edges two or three times because they seem to have the most compaction. Leave the plugs on the soil. That soil will break down and just add back to that soil profile, and so it's one of the best things you can do to it. If you want to and you're not sure about the look, you can run your mower over it and it'll help break down those plugs for you. And then after you're aerating, it's a perfect time then to put some seed down, put some compost on top while the lawn is in this growing active process. Top dusting with compost actually adds organic matter and nutrients to your soil and will help improve your soil structure and health. Compost breaks down the thatch that might be in your lawn and helps germinate the seeds that we're going to put down with the overseeding. You also want to remove your weeds first before you do any of your top dressings so you're not actually helping them out. When we're top dressing and overseeding in fall, the best way to do it is to apply your seed and then you put down a little bit of compost, probably no more than a quarter inch, which will actually cover up your seed. After putting down the compost, we're gonna lightly rake that surface. Seeds need to be kept moist during germination. Doing this practice when there is some rain will cut down on the watering needs. Wait a couple weeks to mow, put your lawnmower at the highest level, mow a little bit, it'll protect those new seedlings down below, and then bring it back down to your regular level once the new grass is established. A thick lawn looks and feels great. It actually will help outcompete weeds, shade the soil beneath your lawn, and protect it from any heat and drought stress.